that to smoke a cigar with coffee is a real art? At least if you are in Cuba. The old timers of Liberty Island reveal to you a few secrets of how to do it right. So, there are two main ways. Method 1. Before you ignite a cigar, you dip it in your coffee. Do not confuse, you need to dunk into coffee the end of the cigar you are going to sip, but not the one which will be set on fire. A wet cigar naturally will not flare up. It is better to do this with espresso coffee. It is a denser drink, so you'll get a beautiful and tasty coffee crema on the tip of the cigar. Cubans often do dip a cigar into rum, even more often than in coffee. Then the taste of the drink, while smoking, remains in your mouth. Method 2. It is more complex, but much more delicious. For making coffee Cubans usually use the Italian coffee maker, Mocha. Here they call it cafetera. Those who make coffee in Mocha know, that it usually makes coffee without any crema. But not in Cuba. Here they use a cunning trick, which, by the way, you can borrow. When the first drops of coffee begin to appear in the mocha, they got taken into a cup, with cane sugar added, and start whipping it up with a spoon. In a minute this gruel becomes surprisingly light. And when the full portion of coffee is ready, this mixture is added to the drink, where it magically turns into crema. This gruel is called espumita, little foam. So, the best way for cigar and coffee is when before you put a cigar in your mouth, you put it not just in coffee, but in the espumita. The coffee taste in this case becomes much brighter. By the way, did you know that cigars are normally twisted with leaves collected at different levels of tobacco bush? The leaves that grow at the top, differ in strength. Growing in the middle are responsible for the aroma of the cigar. And it depends on the lowest ones how the cigar will burn. Interesting, right? Everything is exactly like in coffee, when blends with different taste characteristics are created due to different types of beans. Apropos, did you know that Cubans use coffee made with peas? How and why they do that? That's another story. Subscribe to our channel, dear friends, and we promise to tell you many many other interesting things about coffee.